Okay, here we are in Customizing Your Invoice in QuickBooks, Part 2. Kathy here. Okay, so what we're going to do today is just continue on from where we left off yesterday. However, let's do a quick review. In Part 1, we were in the QuickBooks file. We were under Lists, Templates, and we were creating an invoice. It was called QB Kathy Invoice. We were doing a basic customization of the invoice. We actually used the logo, okay? So there's the logo there, and we did these fields here, phone number, email, website address, and fax number, and it inserted these boxes down in the bottom. So we're gonna need to go in and fix that. For now, we're gonna say, okay, that's where we left off. So we'll just go back into that invoice and we're going to do some additional customization here before we go into this layout designer and rearrange this invoice. So let's click on this. This here brings us to additional customization. We have these tabs up here, header, columns, progressive columns, footer, and print. In the header, that's this data up here. So you'll see there's invoice, that's this. There's the date, that's this field. Invoice number is this. And these are checked here so that it's whether or not it's going to be shown on the screen and whether or not it's going to be printed in the print form when it's submitted to your customer. It's got these fields, invoice date, invoice number. Here's the bill to field right here. That's this where it says bill to and it's got PO number, that's this field right here, and it's got the terms, that's this field, and it's got the project. Okay, these are all that are selected. You can select other fields, and you can add additional fields if you'd like. So that's what's in this header tab up here. In the columns, that happens to be this part of the invoice. What's actually checked here, description, it shows on the screen, and it's going to print. This is the description right here. Here's the quantity. That's right here. Here's the rate and the amount, and you can put additional fields. See these columns here? So that's what's actually on your invoice. And again, you can check to print or on the screen, either one. And this is the layout of the positioning on the form here. Quantity, description, quantity is before description, so that's actually number three, rate, amount. Okay. Then this tab here, progressive columns. If you utilize the sales order feature, there's going to be additional columns you may want to have on there, such as ordered, previously ordered, back ordered, sales order number. A lot of people don't even utilize this. If you don't have the sales order feature, you won't be utilizing that tab. Footer, here's additional information here on the footer that you could put down below. You could put a customer message, total, which is right in here behind this box. Check off these, say if you wanted a subtotal, you can continue. See how it puts a subtotal? But again, we'd have to go in and rearrange that. We will do rearranging in the next lesson. We'll say continue here. We unchecked the box, so it removed the subtotal field. Okay, and then print this tab here. This is where you set up your printer settings. You can choose to print on landscape or portrait, paper size. How many copies do you want to print out? You can print page numbers on forms with more than two pages. You can print trailing zeros if you'd like. So again, we'll say okay here to save all the data that we changed. Okay, so in the next lesson, we're going to actually go in and work in the layout designer, rearrange these boxes. Okay, that's going to be some fun stuff. So stay tuned for part three of Customizing Your Invoice in QuickBooks by Kathy Hahn. See you soon.